Hello dear friend, Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Muhammad Rezaul Haq, welcome to my automation tool channel, today I will show how to calibrate a control valve by using ASM trace field communicator, so let's start. First we connect the ASM trace field communicator with the positioner, plus terminal, the minus terminal and plus terminal must be connected to the plus terminal plus minus to minus. Then you go to the field communicator. You see field communicator is loading. Here we have to select the heart. Then here is showing a warning. We want to pass supply to power from the press. Select positioner. Here, here we use the terminal number is hard plus power because we don't use the another external power. We use the power from the hard uh, trace communicator. So we select the hard plus power terminal to connect with the positioner. You see here is already is connected to the, with the positioner. We are showing the status connection status. Now we go to the configuration mode to calibrate the half go to configure select the guided setup device setup setup wizard Loading the setup devices, the setup parameters. Here we select the relay type. It is single acting or double acting. If it is single acting, then C, and if it is double acting, here you have to select the C. Our positioner is single acting, so we select the S, A, or C terminal. We select your C terminal and go to the next step. Press OK. They are showing the positioner model number. Our positioner is DBC6200. We select this and press OK. It is travel control or pressure control. We select the travel control. The unit of the actuator of it is PSI and set the pressure. We set the 55. Our Positioner is feature control. We select feature control. Here we select the here we select the model number of this uh, actuator. Then the size of the actuator. Press. Here you see that here is showing that the booster relay or not. We have no booster relay. That control valve we are calibrating. This is this is the booster relay. But your control valve is no booster relay. So we select the no and press OK. We want here is showing that we want to send we send the configuration to our device our setup configuration parameter is uh, sent to the our device here show the yes we want to send or not we pray we select yes and press ok you see that our setting wizard setting is was completed now finish the setup we have to be auto calibrate press ok press yes and ok auto calibration checking auto calibration is now running you show that it is the uh, field communicator site and another is the control valve site Our auto collision is progressing. Here 
one important thing is that when we press the auto calibration, before to press the auto calibration, we have to set up the different parameter, relay type, then uh, PSS unit, money pressure unit, upper pressure setting, actuator size, actuator model, all we have to be set up in correctly. If it is wrong, then the calibration will not be completed. You see that our calibration is going on. All parameters of calibration are showing in the trace communicator. Trace communicator is a smart device. Here we can supply voltage with the old external supply calibration parameter is showing pressure also showing and percentage of opening travel also showing Here see, calibration is completed. Now we put in service or not. If we not put in service, then the we cannot check the control valve. So we have must we have to be put in service. Before calibration, uh, control valve is put in not in service. But after calibration, it have to be put in service. Now we go to the loop test mode. Our calibration is safe, okay or not for now. It is back to the menu mode, so it is disconnect with the valve. Now we go to the loop diagnostic mode to check the control valve is working ok or not. Press ok. We have to be supply power on, trace power have to be on with 4 mA. So we select power positional with 4 mA and press ok. You see that is the Loop test power is on and it's showing the 4 mA. Now we press the 8 mA, it is working or okay. You see that we press 8 and control valve is uh, working smoothly. We press 16, 12, 14, 20. You see, first we go to the we are pressing in different mA to check the control valve is working or not. You see. When, uh, when we face the different uh, uh, setting the setting sending the different milliampere then the control valve is working smoothly we, different times we are pressing in different milliampere to showing that it is working or not you see it is working smoothly and uh, there is no hunting if our calibration is a problem then control valve uh, opening closing will be hunting if this it is hunting then we have to be adjust uh, but our control valve is uh, working smoothly so here no need to adjustment we can also decrease the milliampere is uh, uh, slowly slowly and uh, that here you can see we are changing this milliampere slowly and slowly and control valve also is uh, moving in this way we can check the it is a by supplying a small milliampere it is work or not so dear friend i will show you how can we calibrate a control valve by using asm trace communicator it is a simple and easy if you understand my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you already subscribe thank you also like comments and share thank you for watching my video